Hey, so on the last six months of Elmify, the drama was as fresh as ever in my 11th year at Seattle Grace Hospital. This situation we're in right now is incredibly dramatic. People came to me with a number of political scandals to cover up. This scandal is scandalous, but I can fix it. It's what I do. And I got chosen to intern for a powerful professor in a class about how to get away with murder. It's almost as if learning to get away with murder in this class will help us get away with murder in the future. Or maybe that's the Thursday night lineup on ABC. But either way, it has been quite a while. The last time we spoke was right before VidCon, and today I just got back from buying Christmas decorations. So let's wind it back a little bit and catch up, starting with VidCon. VidCon was in its fifth year this year, meaning that if VidCon were a high school drama, they would either do a five-year jump into the future or rebrand with younger actors. Luckily, they did neither this year. We had an awesome How to Adult meetup that I enjoyed a great deal. But thank you for coming there if, if you joined us for that meetup. The summer pretty much flew by for me after that. It was a lot of school and work and work and school and outside the realm of those things, I didn't really find myself with a lot of energy for much else. I did accidentally become emotionally invested in several fandoms, and I would partake in the occasional fan fiction. You both just need to love yourselves! I did get to go to Comic-Con in July, which was a great deal of fun. I got to meet Sebastian Stan from the Captain America movies. In the photo op, I believe I said something along the lines of, Good face! Fun movie times! But the picture turned out pretty well. I think it looks kind of domestic, like Sebastian Stan and I are about to go pick out a coffee table or meet you for brunch. Author Rainbow Rowell came to town in September. She was just incredibly kind and nice and gracious and so intelligent and it was awesome to meet her. And I know she probably writes Carry On in everybody's copy of Fangirl, but I was definitely like, she wrote Carry On in my copy of Fangirl! Now speaking of cool and awesome and intelligent, Emily Grassley also came to town. We got to shoot a couple of videos for How to Adult. We also shot a question tag video with Mike Martin. I'm going to upload that very soon and you can watch that as well. <laughs> if you love it, set it free. <laughs> Oh my god. In October, in addition to school and work, I was also doing revisions on my first novel, which is titled First and Then. It was formerly called First and Down. Um, I could I could talk about the title change more extensively in a, in a future video, if that's something you'd be interested in. I'm very, very excited to share the book with you and to share more information about it leading up to its release. But yeah, that about brings us up to date. Uh, to the present day. In the comments section today, please let me know how you've been doing. What have you been up to in the last six months? I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, uh, Sebastian Stan and I are gonna go test drive an affordably priced four-door sedan.